Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> Still here in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. <clears throat> Howdy. <laughs> how many times a day can you be asked how you doing? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you? <laughs> very American thing, right? A very m middle of American thing to ask someone how you doing? How you doing? In New York, people don't ask you that shit. They, they don't. They, they'll ask you, but you know, you know that they know that they don't mean it, <laughs> and they, they know that you know that you don't give a shit, or something like that. Right? But I guess it's just chat, chit chat. It's kind of funny. A lot of chit chat. People want to know your whole life story. And you just like, if you're quiet, I guess you're rude. <laughs> the rude New Yorker. Anyway, Marcus Conti reporting. I want to, um, I'll have more to say on that. Uh, I like to experience it before I start yakking about it. But the music scene, music, music in uh, Austin, Texas, uh, Austin, wherever the hell we are. Fucking <laughs> Austin, not Austin, Nashville, uh, we're in Nashville. And um, I'll talk more about that. I, I have had, I've already had the experience, but I'll, I'll talk more about it as I digest it. So I want to talk about the um, ongoing election fraud, election rigging that's going on, right? So, so the dirty Democrats have picked um, picked their 20 candidates uh, to appear June 26 and 27. This is important stuff, right? Election fraud, election rigging, right? How are they going to do it, right? How are they going to how are they going to screw Sanders and and exalt uh, Biden or I don't know speculation that. They may slip Hillary Clinton in there at the at the bitter end. I, I don't think so. I doubt that very much. But uh, there, there's nothing there's nothing off the table with the dirty Democrats. The idea is to cheat Sanders and dilute the float. So are they doing that? Right? Yeah. First of all, on the 26, as I already said, we already know that Rachel Maddow, Lester Holt, uh, Chuck Todd, Sleepy Tuck, Chuck Chuck Todd. Savannah Guthrie and the Balt Baltar, the guy from Telemundo, are going to be the moderators on 26 and 27. What they haven't said yet is they picked 20. All right, so everybody got in. That's a good. That's good news for Tulsi Gabbard and uh, uh, really just Tulsi Gabbard was the only wild card, and um, and Andrew Yang got in too. The ones that got cut were Bullock, Misan, and Malton. I don't know who they are, right? So those three got deleted. The, the, the funny one is de Blasio. How the fuck did Bill de Blasio get in, get in there? How did he get 65,000 individual donations in 20 states? That's total bullshit. Why are they sticking Bill de Blasio in the, in the crowd? It's very interesting. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. But, um, but nonetheless, he's in there. I think he polled in Iowa... And he didn't get, uh, he couldn't even get, he got 0%. He, get, he was the only candidate that got nobody. And why is he, why is he, why, why is he in there in the, in the, shit, the shit pile of 20? And Bullock, Masson, and Moulton are not. It's just interesting points to point out. All right, so what's the, what, what are they playing on de Blasio? What's de Blasio going to say? All right. I mean, the, the, the I, he's a good speaker. He's he's articulate and funny, and in a, you know, in a funny, you know, big gay way. You know, he's he's a kind of a goofball. But um, there's definitely a strategy in there. To, to to to, I don't know exactly what it is, but we'll find out. So, so back in 2016, 20 candidates. That's the that's the idea. That's how you stop Sanders. You're going to put 20 candidates leading up to the Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada primaries in February of 2019, right? I'm just going to try to cross the street in, in this town without getting clipped, right? You had, um, you're going to have 20 candidates, right? There's no sense in talking about the Republicans. Trump's the candidate. Right? Nobody's going to... If they challenge Trump, it's going to be a joke, right? Trump's going to win. Right? So, so you've got, as of now, you uh, in 2016, 
you had Clinton Sanders, Webb O'Malley, and uh, Chef, C-H-A-F-E-E. -E. I don't remember that guy. I barely remember him. So you had those were the those were the um, six candidates at the time leading into the first primary. By the time the second primary came around, they already had it down to Clinton, Sanders, and O'Malley on the same stage. So first you saw six, and then immediately later, I don't know how, how many weeks in between it was, you had three. So the object now, uh, there's a parking lot. Uh, <laughs> so the object now is to, is to flood the stage with 10 and 10. 10 on one day, 10 and 10, then another 10. I guess the next day is 10 more. Or it's 10 one day and 10 the other day. However they're going to do it. They're claiming also that, that it's random. <laughs> they're picking the candidates at random. Who's going who's gonna to appear on the stage and speak uh, against each other. So there, there should be some, some interesting rigging in there as well. Have one day where... Where, where everybody, all the corporatists, you know, hail, nobody throws a damn, you know, tough question at any of them. Again, my suspicion is that, my suspicion and my thought and my, and my, my, my projection is that rig the primaries, right? The primaries are rigged, but you have to rig, you got to get, you got to get consent. You got to manufacture that consent. And how do you do it? You put you you gotta look make Sanders look like an idiot, right? A total fool on the debate stage. Stick him in there with ten idiots, right? Asking stupid questions, talking about their dogs and their and their pets and what, what they like to eat and their, right? No substance. <laughs> no substance, right? No real debate, right? Keep Biden on one side and 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 Sanders on the other side. That's probably going to be the strategy, right? So. Again, 2016, you had Clinton, Sanders, Webb, O'Malley, and Chef. And then by the second primary, you had Clinton, Sanders, and O'Malley. This time, you'll probably have 20 and 20 running all the way through. <laughs> all the way. Right, even when they, they're polling at zero and 1%. Some of these 20 people are only polling at 1%. Tulsi Gabbard included. I, I love Tulsi Gabbard. I just, you know, it's, it's a hard road. You know, it's a hard road to break through major media. Uh, you know, and she hasn't done that, so she doesn't have huge celebrity status. She's not Hillary Clinton, and she didn't run a campaign like Bernie Sanders, right? Or she's not the mayor of New York like Bill De Blasio. And even with that kind of notoriety, he still can't pull one percent. So, so notoriety is a uh, tricky thing. So why De Blasio? Why um, what else do I want to talk about? So, so that that's all I really wanted to say. I keep it brief. That um, that the the election. Manufacture consent for the steal. Right? This is America. Right? Isn't it important to talk about how our elections are rigged? Country, we go around the world where we're, we're, um, we challenge other, other nations about election fraud. Oh, you fucking guys you can't hold a free election. You can't hold fair elections. Right? And, then, and then we rig our elections. Stop to smell the flowers. Beautiful flowers. Hmm. Hello, flowers. Hello, flowers. Free and fair elections, right? That's the that's the the bedrock of democracy. But in that in that free and fair, there's rigging. <laughs> uh, it's free and fair until we rig it. Uh, that's what we stand for. As a, uh, you know, that's what we put up with in America. Right? We agree to that. We don't, what choice do we have, right? What choice do we have? Corporations controlling the table, right? We don't have a choice. MSNBC picks the candidate? What? what kind of shit is that? Those are the worst people. Rachel Maddow. Oh, my God. The conspiracy queen. The one who told 2.53 million people every night about how evil the Russia scare the Red Scare, Russia did it. <clears throat> Socialism. They'll try to uh, continue. I was watching a little bit of CNN, and I saw Chris Cuomo. Even after Sanders' talk, 
right? It's as, as if he didn't even see it. After Sanders did his talk about uh, economic, uh, economic New Deal for America and uh, explaining the, the difference between democratic socialism and the old world scare of, of, of socialist communism from Russia, <laughs> where the mainstream media likes to connect it to, they only, it's not like they don't know. They just do that to scare you. Right. And you still have people, you know, even on this, read the comments. I don't edit comments. You can say whatever you want. You want to make yourself look like an ass and say socialism is socialism then is socialism now. And uh, that's OK. That's OK. You can you could choke yourself like that because nobody here is talking about any sort of giving up freedoms and giving up rights. We're talking about seizing freedom and seizing rights away from the people who are taking them from you. Right? Call it the democratic socialism. Call it whatever the freak you want. Who cares? But it's, you know, let's get it done already. Let's ask the oligarchy, right? So, so that's all. We're going to see some primary debates, democratic primary debates on June 26 and 27. Definitely watch them, you know. It'll be an interesting two hours. How they're going to, how they're going to shaft Sanders and elevate Biden, the corporate pick. How many of these candidates are going to hold on when they know that they can't win at all, and why? <laughs> well, we know why. Because somebody keeps sticking a million dollars in their coffer. Right? So he keeps depositing two million dollars in their in their campaign. Right? And they don't know who the hell it is, right? Or why? The why is because you want to keep, you want to keep the lie going is that there's 20 valid candidates when there's really only one. See, logic would say like, see, if Hillary Clinton were running, then she would be the favorite. Why? Because she's the corporatist and she has notoriety. But Bernie Sanders had wild notoriety and wild popularity, and arguably won. He did. He did win the primary in 2016. It was stolen from him. So logic says, put your money on, on, on Sanders. But they're not going to do that because why? Because Bernie Sanders represents the, the, the he represents not the man, but, but what, what he represents is the voice of the people, the voice of the 99%. Whether you like the man or not, whether you think of, think of him as an old, weak man, is irrelevant at this point in history. It's totally irrelevant. Bernie Sanders encompasses the the vision of a democratic socialist society as he defines it where the 99% regain control of our country. That we deflate the military industrial complex. That we deflate the pharmaceutical industrial complex. The big oil complex and move towards alternative energies getting money out of politics once and for all overturn citizens united taxing the the corporations and holding them to their fair share of taxes not your tax not your tax the one percent tax people 20 million dollars and more do your homework no one's raising your tax holding the corporations to their tax. That's what we're talking about. So, so anyway, I'll have more on, uh, it's not very scenic over here, sorry about that. Just walking around in the same spot. So I'll have more to say about uh, Nashville, Tennessee, I got my new hat on. The Carter, what a good, beautiful guitar store. Vintage guitars, Carter vintage guitars. Wow, so beautiful, man! All this old vintage wood, <laughs> vintage wood, vintage wood. What the fuck are you doing, man? It's a red light, dog. dog. It's a red light. It's a red light, you idiot. I almost got run over. The fucking guy almost ran me over. You saw that? I almost got run over on my own fucking blog. <laughs> I end on a positive note. He was wrong, man. He's looking at... He had a red light. Turned right into me. 
Whew. My heart isn't racing either. I'd be lying if I told you I was nervous. All right, I'll kill it here. Marcus Conti reporting. Peace out.